began more or less as opportunities to bring in performers for the students to witness um, creativity and experience art on our Randolph stage. Randolph is not an arts high school, as a matter of fact, it began as engineering, humanities, um, and with a big focus on medical programs. So to add the arts piece, to add that element to the culture, we thought was important, and we did it by bringing in guests. The early years we had SBI Awards, I think that was probably like in 1995. We did SBI Awards again in 96 where we honored politicians, artists. I think Russell Simmons is one of the people we brought in. Representative um, Ruben Rodriguez came in from Atlantic Records. We brought in a lot of artists. Um, KRS-One was here a lot of times doing things for us. Uh, Fat Joe was involved with the program and helping fund things in early years. So it was always the students coming in to see other people perform. When I think probably the first time we had students performing was when we began doing um, elaborate black arts um, recognition programs, um, uh, black history recognition programs um, during the month of February. And that was in the early years, probably like 1994. The first performance ensemble came after the Million Man March. The Million Man March happened in Washington, and then we organized something here at the high school. SBI organized a hundred, um, a hundred brothers, and the hundred brothers group. We did um, hip hop kind of performances and brought in hip hop, hip hop artists. So we started the United Brothers. Uh, it was called Hundred Brothers, and then we switched it to United Brothers. Um, once we started United Brothers. The ladies in the school, the young women in the school said, why are we only doing brothers and why aren't we doing something with the female students? And we said, well, the females are doing everything because they were in the majority here. I think they were 70% of the enrollment here. That didn't stick. So we formed for sisters only. So the whole thing started back with us watching and then it became a performance and then the performance was a morale builder, a pride builder in the school which evolved into something where we were using the arts to inform people about creativity, to give students the opportunity to experience creating. Um, to get students to understand the whole idea of creating things together and working together to give students the opportunity to share, to be on the stage and have something to give to someone else, um, to give students the ability and, and give them a means to develop the skill of communicating to help them to be more comfortable with being in front of people and understanding that everything we do is a performance. It's all creating, it's being on stage. So the arts piece that we did evolved into an experience aimed at preparing students for post-secondary opportunities. Our goal is to have them all headed towards college and this arts performance piece just prepares them, it makes them well-rounded, it makes them more open to things that they are unfamiliar with, it makes them more likely to take risk and step outside of their comfort zone, it makes them it gives them something to talk about. It gives them things to share.